Good morning guys, what's up? And welcome back to another vlog. Today is the first day of spring semester and I'm super excited to be vlogging it for you guys. It'll be really nice to go back and watch this video at the end of the semester and see how far I've come. Here's my first day back to classes outfit. I'm just wearing this cropped FGCU shirt, my Spanx leggings, and then my white Vans. And I'm definitely wearing a hoodie because it's like 43 degrees outside right now. So I just ate a banana for breakfast and I was gonna make one of those cinnamon raisin Ezekiel muffins but I feel super full after the banana and I hate that I'm this way because I know I'm gonna be hungry in like an hour or something but I can never eat a lot when I wake up super early and I'm leaving earlier today than I normally would for an 8 30 a.m. but it's the first day of the semester and I know our campus gets really packed like the first week so I need to get there even earlier than I normally would so that I can get parking. I'm just gonna take one of these apple pie Lara bars. I love these so if I get hungry in class then I have something. my mobile order and now I need to hurry up and rush because I am so scared I'm not gonna find parking but hopefully it's not as bad as it was in the first day of the fall semester. It's a little bit later and I had my first class and I did not vlog at all on campus because it's the first day back to classes and there's way too much going on. I didn't want to be that weird person with my camera out. Now I'm at Target and I have a couple things I need to get in there for school. I have it written down in my phone. I need to get a notebook for lab because when I was at Walmart yesterday, they didn't have any quad ruled composition books. They only had like regular lined composition books. Look at these magnetic bookmarks that I just found. I feel like I would like this so much better in my planner than that little clip-in one. And I also found these really pretty fake plants and I've been looking for a little clear vase for something like this, just for like our TV stand. And so I'm gonna get these, they're only like $3 each. So Target didn't even have a quad ruled notebook. I guess I'm not that surprised because it is the first day back to school and I live in a college town so everybody has already rummaged through everything. So luckily in this same plaza there's a Staples so my last resort is Staples. Otherwise I'm not gonna have my lab notebook for lab on Wednesday and that's gonna suck because I'll have to like order it on Amazon. So I am back home now and I am so shocked, but literally Target, Staples, and Walmart do not have quad ruled composition books. So apparently they're really hard to come by. The one place I did check was Amazon and they didn't have a huge selection. So I didn't get a cute one or anything, but I did get a quad ruled notebook from Amazon and it had one day delivery. So it should come tomorrow and I don't have lab until Wednesday. So it actually works out perfect. So I just got off the phone with Pearson customer support for like the last 45 minutes. I spoke with three different people and no one can figure out why my chemistry book is not showing up in this bookshelf and you can see the books from last semester literally college algebra and medical term and then there's another medical term for some reason but for whatever reason my chemistry books not showing up I was able to access it from my laptop but it's really slow and every page loads like very slowly which is why I wanted to access it from the app because it's an offline version so it doesn't matter the internet connection or anything like that it should just load the entire book at once so you're not waiting for each individual page to load. At this point, I have way too much work to do to just sit here and hope that eventually my book is gonna show up. So I think I'm gonna have to go and buy a physical copy of the book. I really want it to do it digitally, but it's just not working for me. And I'm gonna need the same book for Chem 2, so I think I'm just gonna go get a physical copy of the book. And then I still plan on using GoodNotes for my note taking. I actually created a notebook for chemistry and then also one for genetics so I can at least do digital note taking.
little while later and I got through basically half of chapter one, which is about what we covered in class today. So I still have a lot more to do, but it's something. And I'm really taking my time and trying to like make sure that I don't miss any important information. Even though I haven't been working that long, I was sitting there at the table dealing with the technical support forever. So I'm just kind of at that point where I need a break. So I think I'm gonna go get a raw juice because you guys know it's like my latest obsession, raw juices, cold pressed juices all of that natural stuff because it just makes me feel so good like i swear to you i will drink a whole 16 ounce juice and immediately after feel like really energized and ever since i've been drinking those i just feel all around better they are expensive so it's not a habit that i can do every single day but i figure a couple times a week isn't gonna hurt anybody so I think I'm gonna go get one, but it's annoying because you can't like mobile order and there's not a drive through or anything like that. And it's actually like in an outdoor mall, so I have to park and then walk over to it. First world problems. See, I immediately just feel so good now because I have this and I know it's like mental, but these juices just make me happy. So I'm back home now and I'm gonna put some brain food on on Spotify. This is one of my favorite playlists when I'm doing schoolwork. I actually haven't listened to it since last semester because I keep it strictly for when I'm doing schoolwork. And I'm gonna work on some of the introductory assignments for my genetics class. crazy I called my sister just to like tell her about everything that I went through with trying to get my textbook digitally and how I'm just gonna have to go and buy it which I didn't end up doing today but I was planning on doing it later this week and she told me that she uses Chegg which I knew that she used that but I didn't think much of it other than it's a place to buy your textbooks but she told me that she always finds her textbooks like significantly cheaper this is not sponsored and so I went and checked out Chegg and I found out that the book that I was going to pay like over $300 for at the bookstore was $15 it's used but it was only $15 and the book is mine to keep and that's the same chemistry book that I need next semester and I got it for $15 and their digital version of the book which you can access from like the Chegg e-reader is only like $64 so I could literally get both for cheaper than just buying the book at the bookstore so I'm pretty excited I already ordered it I didn't buy the digital copy because I'm just gonna continue accessing that from my laptop but if I do feel like I'm missing out and I really want it on my iPad then I'll just pay for it because it's not that expensive and it's still cheaper than what I was gonna spend at the bookstore I bought this candle from TJ Maxx like over the weekend and it is the best smelling candle ever so if you have a TJ Maxx near you go get it Midnight Woods, I don't know, it's a coconut wax blend. It's a very like clean, neutral scent with like a hint of coconut. There you go, that's my description. So I'm about to start making dinner and I told you guys yesterday that I was making a like pasta dish but with zucchini noodles and I'm gonna saute some mushrooms, onion and pepper but I have to cut all this up first. avocado oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm just gonna saute this until it looks ready. And I'm gonna throw the zucchini noodles in. So I just finished eating dinner and I want to show you guys my little sweet snack. I told you guys I got these at Whole Foods. They're just little dark chocolate chunks and they're obviously meant for baking. So good. They're just like these little chunks and they make the perfect snack to just like curb that sweet craving that you get after you eat. At least I always get a sweet craving. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go and check my emails and then get a shower and I work tomorrow So I need to get ready for bed and edit and upload this video Thank you guys so much for watching my first day of spring semester And if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video